Education. Hali, hali. Welcome back. And thank you for tuning in again. Uh, <clears throat> today, uh, I've been singing that uh, I'd be making chapati for my family. It's only a didn't have time. <clears throat> and today, I just have the appetite of eating chapati. Eating chapati with beans. So, I'm just preparing the beans. And then, I have two of them. So, I'm going to prepare the two of them. That's how my beans are looking like. Water. And then I just leave it to steam. PSC. And then I'll add later the coriander. And in the process, as my beans are cooking, as my stew beans, and I'm going to just yes, make the dough of chapati. I'm going to put flour. I'm not going to make mini chapatis. I'm just going to make some hmm, nine to ten chapatis because uh, uh, I don't have that much big family. We are a small family here, and just the three of us, and that's why. I'm not going to make many chapatis. Maybe eight, nine to ten. Yeah, that's how I know to do it. So I'm just using my eyes to measure the flour. To measure the flour, then I'm just going to add salt. Salt. Yes. Let me show you. So this is my flour. I've added spoon. <laughs> I've added salt, not spoon. Oh my god. Yes. And then I'm going to add hot boiled water. Very hot, actually. Very, very hot. Very hot water. And that's why I'm not going to use my hands for the first process I'm just going to use the spoon oh. Oh, I forgot it and adding a little bit of cooking oil on it before I start using my hands and that is my secret of using hot water to get the soft chapatis and I'm not going to leave them to rest for some minutes I'm just going to cook them directly
oils are there. I think there are eight. very soft the dough is very soft and that is because of the hot water Yes, that's how my chapati doors have rolled them and now they are done so I'm just going to preheat my pan to start cooking them or frying them yeah <coughs> so my pan is preheating it's almost done and I'm just going to start doing my chapatis and as I said don't bother about the shape what's matter is how it's test and the softness of the chapati yes that is it so nothing else trying to get the ship but it's not that bad it's not that bad Very nice. And I can assure you, if you use hot water to make your chapati dwarfs, they will automatically come out soft. And you don't have to need any resting hours that the dough has to rest for 10 minutes or 30 minutes. No, just use hot water. Hoary water. And the chapatis will remain very soft. Look, very soft, very, very soft.
look how the chapatis are coming out. Voila, 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 voila. Voila, 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 voila. Just see how my chapatis are coming out. So, my chapatis are now done. Look at these chapatis. Look at them. They're now done. And my beans are also done. My beans, my beans are also done. My beans are also done. And as I said, uh, let have a try. And as I said, they're very soft. They're peeling themselves very soft. The chapatis are very soft. Look, very, very soft. Very soft. My food preparation is now done and it's now ready to be served. Uh, the chapati came soft and very delicious. My uh, bean stew also very delicious. Can't even wait to serve it yet. Thank you for watching and for tuning on. So delicious that I can't even stop eating it.